I don't know how many of you are college basketball fans, but there's a very notorious offense that is all but extinct now called the Four Corners offense. And if you're not familiar with what this offense is, it's it's a, an excruciatingly boring offense designed primarily to just hold on to the ball and not necessarily even take a shot at the basket. It was arguably made most famous by the University of North Carolina, specifically their head coach at the time, Dean Smith, who would often call this offense late in games when he knew he had a pretty comfortable lead. In fact, there was there's a very sort of infamous game between the, the University of North Carolina Tar Heels and the University of Virginia in the 1982 ACC championship in which the North Carolina Tar Heels held on the ball for the last seven minutes of the game and ended up just winning by a couple points. It was incredibly boring for the fans and it was a nationally televised game. And you can only imagine how frustrating it might've been certainly for the, the Virginia team. But to be honest, it was probably boring for the, the, the kids from North Carolina who was on the, on the court. So if it was so boring and it really wasn't designed to score points, why did Dean Smith use it? Because he knew the objective of the game. The objective of the game was to get the win. Allow me to give you another similar example in American football. Most games end with one of the teams taking a knee. Arguably the most boring play, certainly in all of football, it's basically giving up on that play. Why would they do that? Because they've already got the game won. There's no need to line up and execute a real play since they know the game was won. They know the objective is to get the win, and that's it. My name is Chris White author of The Six Habits of Highly Effective Sales Engineers, creator of DemoDoctor.com, a website dedicated to the growth and development of technical pre-sales professionals. The reason I share those two stories with you is to remind you the importance of knowing the objective of the game. Our objective as technical pre-sales professionals is to get the technical win. When we are brought in to a sales engagement, to a sales opportunity, asked or invited in to give a demonstration, our job, our goal is to get the technical win. Now, why do I emphasize this point that our job is to get the technical win? So many of us enter this role from a post-sales profession. We're used to giving training. We're used to engaging in paid consulting engagements. The fact of the matter is that a post-sales conversation is very different from a pre-sales conversation. There are certain things that we might say or show or do in a post-sales conversation or a post-sales engagement that maybe we shouldn't in a pre-sales engagement and vice versa, by the way. One of the mistakes that a lot of sales engineers make or solution architects make when they first get into this role is we think of our role as an educator. We think of a demo as an opportunity or a time to teach people or train people or show people how the software works. Certainly there are times and places where we have to show how certain things work, but at the end of the day, the goal is to get the technical win. Now, what do I mean by technical win? My definition is, to convince our prospects that our solution, our platform, our product, our company, our people can help them meet their needs, satisfy their objectives, and, and help them achieve what they're trying to accomplish. That's it. We want, we want to try to avoid entering into training mode and teaching mode we also want to avoid entering into consulting mode. One of the mistakes that we make is we try to solve all the problems and we, we start to give advice and consulting that the, the prospect really should be paying our professional services for. The other thing is just like the football team that takes the knee at the end of the game, 
know when you've actually got the win. Sometimes a prospect makes it very clear that they're sold on the solution. They believe in the technology, it's the right fit for them and they're ready to move forward. And yet we may still wanna be, we may still be in convincing mode or pitching mode or selling mode. Know when to take a knee and ex sort of accept victory. So with that, I, I encourage you going into next week, think about any customer engagement, any demo that you've been invited into. And remember, our goal is to get the technical win. Let's not default to training and consulting, but let's also know when to take a knee once we've, got, once we've achieved victory. If you know of anybody else who could benefit from this weekly checkup, I encourage you to share it. And as always, remember, People buy from people and sales is a team sport. Develop healthy habits so you can deliver winning demos. We'll see you next time.